Hey guys, welcome back. I posted a video on Android P developer preview 4 for me a one about a week back. Although everything was working fine, albeit minor bugs, one concerning thing was no VWRT support. It might not bother many people, but for those who are using 4G only services like Geo, it's a big issue. DP5 also got released 3 or 4 days back, but still something more was needed to fix VWLTE. It's not just for MIUI 1, many other phones running Android P ports are not having VWLTE support out of the box. Initially, Redmi Note 5 Pro got a patch for VWLTE and now the same is available for MIUI 1 and now let's see how to get it working on our phone. So basically, if you have already flashed DP4 or DP5, you don't have to really wipe everything and start from the scratch. First, you need few files. One is the WinDAR image, which we have already used before in the installation video, PostGSI 1 zip and PostGSI 2 zip. PostGSI 1 is very important here because it is the one which contains the VWLT patch. So first let's reboot our phone to the recovery by holding volume up and power button simultaneously. And here I'm using an ADB command, ADB reboot recovery to get to the recovery. Once you boot into the recovery, connect the phone to the PC if you haven't already and transfer these files vendor PostGSI 1 and PostGSI 2 to your phone and the download links for these are in the video description. Now go to the wipe tab from home screen, advanced tab and here select vendor only and swipe to confirm wipe. Make sure you select vendor only here or else you have to do everything from start to get android p boot again. Now back to the TWRP home screen, install tab, now hit install image option on the right bottom side and select the vendor image we just transferred and vendor partition to flash and swipe to confirm. Back to home screen again, mount tab and select vendor. Once selected back to home screen, go to the install tab and flash PostGSI 1 and PostGSI 2 files as normal zip files and after flashing process, reboot the system. So now the phone is rebooting, we haven't wiped the system partition so all your apps and data are safe but the system settings will get reset like wallpapers and few other things. If you already have a 4G only SIM installed, you should be seeing devices HD capable notification in the notification panel. If not, go to settings, network and internet, SIM cards and here select 4G only SIM as default SIM for mobile data which is Geo in my case. And if still there is no VWLT for you, go to mobile network option under network and internet tab and here under advanced options for Geo SIM, make sure there is enhanced 4G LTE mode. If it is not showing for Geo network or if it is showing for other SIM, interchange the SIM cards from slot 1 to slot 2 and check again and now 4G voltage should be working fine. So that's it guys, with this fix almost everything is working for Mi A1 Android P port. Stay tuned for Android P DP5 review for Mi A1 sometime today or tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.